I want to be realistic, but I'm going to dream tonight. I'm looking for something different to give me the thrill I like. I don't want to know the distance. I'd rather be on my way in order to live tomorrow. I need to wake up today now. Follow me, all the songs we can sing. Hey guys, it's Jade. So I thought I'd do a chit chat get ready with me, which I actually haven't filmed one of these before, so why not? It's a good opportunity. <laughs> I'm going out tonight for some drinks and some dinner with some friends, so it's gonna be nice to get all dolled up and wanted you guys to see what I'm doing, because I think I'm gonna do something fun. So, bare face, obviously. I'm gonna start off by using my Australis O2 Glow Foundation, but I'm just gonna put it around my eye area. This will just save me from having to touch up stuff around my eyeliner, which I always find really annoying. Start off with the eyes. <laughs> I'm gonna use the um, Too Faced Peanut Butter and Jelly Palette. I'm gonna take the shade Peanut Butter, which which is there. It's gonna be my tr transition color. Oh, can't talk today. Lee and I have moved into our new house, which I guess you can't really call new because it is our old house that we've just been renovating for what feels like forever. So yeah, we finally moved back in. We're just sick of paying rent and paying a mortgage at the same time, which, you know, really was not fun. <laughs> so yeah, we've, we've moved back in, but it's definitely nowhere near finished being renovated. Those of you who are part of my Snap fam would have seen my snaps probably. The house literally is like, it's like a cottage. It's tiny. There's no, ceiling there's no plaster on the walls <laughs> there's no insulation so it is freaking freezing in here and it's like the middle of winter here in Australia so oh, that's just lots lots of fun lots and lots of fun <laughs> but yeah it's really nice to be back here because you know this is our home and it's just nice to be back and the dogs love it here as well so yeah it's good so like the past you know few weeks or week or so we've basically been moving and been backwards and forwards cleaning the other house like exit cleans how much do exit cleans suck and Lee's like you know we could just hire someone to do the exit clean I was like mm, that's so lazy so no <laughs> I've just yeah been so so busy so busy but yeah it's been it's been an adventure let's just say that I guess the worst thing as well with the house we haven't had like a shower or anything like that because the tile has been doing the tiles which the tiles are almost done so they're getting finished tomorrow which is going to be amazing our bathroom is just going to be gorgeous I can't wait but yeah in the process of moving and all that jazz absolutely caned my thumb which if you see it it looks it looks absolutely disgusting so apologies for my thumb <laughs> I jammed it in between like a bit of wood and the cupboard that I was moving and it's like ripped all my cuticle off and it's just mangled and disgusting and yeah, it's slowly healing but it's just oh, gross so moving on to the shade nuts about you which is just this darker kind of ready shade and I'm just gonna go over the top basically still want to keep some of the other color there but I just want to deepen deepen it all a few of us have been in the wars, like my thumb, and then Bill absolutely caned his nose, the poor thing. I think we might have had a nail or something sticking out of the fence that we didn't know was there. And when we were still moving stuff, Bill it like ran up to the fence and yeah, hurt his nose. It's basically like torn a massive section and it's like all flappy and it's just like hanging there. And as soon as we saw it, like we came home and there was blood and we're like, oh my gosh. I said to Lee, like we've got to take him straight to the vet. And because it was on a Sunday where I live, everything is shut on Sundays. Certain hours they have like an on-call vet. So we called them and said like, look, we think our dog's gonna need stitches. He's cut his nose. And they said, yep, no worries, bring, bring the dog in. But not that, not that money matters, but the fee for out of hours call outs or a Sunday is $180 just for a consult. And I'm like, that is freaking ridiculous because it, it kind of sucks. Cause like, if, I mean, if you can afford it, of course, like we're going to pay for it cause it's our dog and we love him. Not saying that if you don't pay for it, you don't love your dog or any other animal, but they kind of bet on that. They bet that, you know, you love your animals. So you're going to pay whatever it takes. And yeah, they just charge whatever they want, which is ridiculous. So yeah, $180 just for the vet to see us. And the vet basically said, look, we can't do anything. Um, 
she said we could you know stitch it up but chances are where the place it is the stitches are just going to fall out and yeah there's there's no point paying because especially on a Sunday it's pretty much triple the cost so she's like yeah I'll give it a good clean and that's pretty much all we could do which sucks all right next thing I'm gonna use is the Vegas light palette from a makeup geek and I'm gonna go in with the shade whew, roulette which is this kind of ready shade here and basically just go over it again and like a little bit in the outer corners as well so yeah we left basically with Bill just having a clean cleaned nose he's been all right but yeah it's just flapping and the poor thing I know dogs are tough but yeah I just I don't like seeing it poor little poor little pumpkin I actually thought the shadow would be a lot kind of redder than what it is it's not really that red it looks so strange without eyebrows like the shape looks really weird so I'm gonna go in with the shade jelly and just really lightly pat this on my lid I don't really want the color to be that visible but I just want to kind of fill in all the gaps so just lightly pat this color on the glitter now gonna use line crimes glitter helper I think I'm just gonna do one eye at a time <laughs> I don't want the glitter helper to dry that quickly so just gonna pat that over the top so the glitter I'm using is Medusa's makeup material girl glitter so this is like gold and pinky kind of glitter like a combination of both so I'm not too sure how it's gonna look but hey there's only one way to find out I guess and holy cow oh my gosh <laughs> so I'm gonna go over the top with um, Zodiac Glitter in Aries by Line Crime. Wow, those glitters together are amazing. <laughs> Next thing I'm gonna use is this e.l.f. liquid liner. This is in the shade Plum. Now I'm gonna use my Astralis Makeup Finishing Spritz as a primer. Spray it on my hand, rub it on my face. And this stuff honestly is so good as a primer. So foundation today, I'm gonna to use a combination of two foundations. The first one is the Napoleon Pertis Sheer Genius Liquid Foundation in the shade Light Look 2. And I'm gonna use a little bit of Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. This is in the shade Light Beige and just mix them together. So I actually did a photo shoot the other day. Oh my gosh, it was so much fun. I'm actually, like, I'm so uncoordinated. <laughs> Surprise, surprise. Yeah, it was just with this amazing lady from Limitless Photo Artistry, and she's just incredible. I've got photos up on my Facebook page, or just one of the photos, I think. And yeah, it was like a pinup rockabilly inspired shoot, and oh my gosh, it was just amazing. She just did such a good job at making me look like elegant because <laughs> I, I most of the time don't really feel that elegant <laughs> or graceful um, but yeah she did an amazing job so it was so much fun I'm gonna do my eyebrows off camera and I'm actually going to use some of Pony Cosmetics new brow creams this is their main stain oh my gosh I'm so impressed with these these are amazing so I'm gonna use this shade which is thoroughbred which is one of the darker shades and I'm gonna go over the top with some red eyeshadow just to like set the brows so I do have a brow tutorial on how I fill in my brows so I'm doing exactly the same as that video it's gonna be in the description box below if you guys wanted to watch it um, I'm just swapping out the brow powder for a red powder instead so much better with eyebrows let's just say so the next shade I'm gonna go in with for the eyes is Butterbean which is this gorgeous dark shade I'm still just using the same brush I pretty much use the same brush for all of my eyes and basically just like on that outer corner where that wing is I'm gonna apply that just to you know give it a bit of depth I had I wouldn't say the worst day today but like it's just you know when you have one of those days and Whatever you do, it's just one of those days, you know? Not that, you know, anything really bad happened, nothing like that, but I was just, I don't know, I was just in a mood like all day and no matter what I did, I just couldn't get out of this like funk that I was in. All right, now I'm gonna go in with the shade Mirage and this will be my highlight shade. Ooh, my honey bun's home on my brow bone. <laughs> so this is like a matte shade, which I think, you know, with the glitter, everything else is, is quite nice. <laughs> Honey! What you doing? I'm filming. 
All right, concealer today. I'm gonna to use my NYX under eye dark circle concealer corrector. This is in the shade Fair. Over the top of that, I'm gonna use my Makeup Store Reflex Cover Light. Such a nice under eye product. It's not like heavy or cakey, anything like that. And it just does make such a big difference, especially if you have quite prominent dark circles like I do. So while that's kind of setting in, I don't blend it away straight away because I don't want to. <laughs> I'm gonna take my Bronze Booster by Physicians Formula and just kind of warm up my face. Not so much like contouring at this stage, I'm just using like a lighter shade to warm everything up. Going back with this brush, which still has a little bit of that under eye concealer on, I'm gonna just do a sweep under here, which will just help to highlight my kind of jawline that little bit. Using this brush, I'm gonna blend out everything underneath my eyes, cause that is like well and truly set in now. I'm going to do a little bit of baking, which I don't normally do, but I'm going to. I've got this Ben Nye Banana Powder. I've lost the lid, so I keep it in a Ziploc baggie. While that is setting in, I'm going to use my Makeup Geek Gel Liner and tight line my eyes. Then go back with these palettes and kind of mirror the same kind of shadows on the lower lash line. Blush today, I'm going to use my Essence Silky Touch Blush in the shade Kissable. Overboard. So next, I'm actually so excited about these. These just arrived today. These are by Chaos Makeup. This one is this gorgeous kind of pinky shade, which I think I'll use this one as my highlight today. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh. So I'm going to warm that up and apply this. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Look at that. That is amazing. For lips today, I'm going to use this lip color from Lush. This is in the shade Perspective. All right guys, so here you have this finished results. Uh, thanks for watching. Definitely let me know if you like these kind of chit chat get ready with me videos and I'll definitely do them more often. Just yeah post a comment below. Let me know. Of course don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. Become a member of the Rainbow Family. It would be amazing. <laughs> Alright guys I love you all and I'll see you guys in my next video.